In this video, we're going to show you how you set up a simple electrical circuit based on this diagram. First of all, lay out the operators as shown in the diagram and let's start with the battery. Conventional current will flow out from the positive terminal and then let's come to this connection point. Basically, it's like a T-junction. One end goes to the resistance wire on the ruler. The other end will proceed to the voltmeter. Now, this is a close-up view. So as long as the crocodile clip is clipped to the metal part, okay, that will do, so it allows the current to flow through. The other one, make sure it's touching the metal part also. You can do it this way, or I can loosen the plastic knob a little bit and take the crocodile clip and clip to the bottom, make sure it's in contact with the metal part, and the other crocodile clip to the top. Do not just merely clip onto the plastic, make sure it's it comes into contact with the metal so that current can flow. So let's now proceed on. So conventional current will flow into the positive terminal of the voltmeter and it will come out from the negative terminal of the voltmeter. Next, we'll come to this T-junction again. So you can, you can connect it this way and the jockey over here is for you to tap on the resistance wire. So conventional current will continue to flow into the positive terminal of the emitter and out of the negative terminal. And last one is your switch. The connection point both ends you can use. So and last step, connect back to the battery. So we close the switch. And the moment you close it, the voltmeter will show you about 3 volt. That is the EMF of the battery. And as you tap, you will get different set of V and I. So as the length increases, the resistance of the circuit will be higher, the potential difference will be higher, and the current flowing through will be decreasing. 